Good morning, Junior 5. Uh, today I will talk with you page 12 in the weekend chips booklet, uh, worksheet number seven. The first one, write the scientific term. Write the scientific term. The pole of the magnet that repels, repels with the north pole of another magnet, north pole. North pole. After that, the space around the magnet. The space around the magnet is the magnetic field. Magnetic field. After that, the force by which the magnet attracts some material, magnetic force or magnetism. So it's called the magnetic force. Magnetic force. After that, an object consists of a small and light magnetic needle that can spin freely around a fixed axis, the compass. Compass. After that, a set used for locating the main four geographical directions, also the compass. The ability of magnet to attract the magnetic materials exists in its field, magnetic force. Light pools repel each other. Repel. While the dislike, what is the meaning of dislike? Different. Like pools, the similar. So the dislike or different pools attract. Attract each other. Number two, contain a small light magnet. That means that it's the compass. Compass. Contains around a fixed axis. You have a move freely around a fixed axis. After that, materials that are attracted to the magnet are called. Magnetic materials are attracted to the magnet, so they are called magnetic materials. Magnetic materials. But they are not attracted to the magnet, they are called non-magnetic materials, okay? The greatest magnetic force is considered to add the greatest magnet force at the two inch or the two pulled of the magnet and disappear at the middle. So the greatest magnetic force at two poles, at the two poles of the magnet. Okay? Uh, the greatest magnetic force, or we can say the magnetic force concentrated at the two poles and disappear or become minimum at the middle of the magnet. Okay, junior four. F, sorry, okay, junior five. Okay. After that, choose choose the correct answer. The compass contain small light needle magnet. Small light needle magnet. Okay, for ring horseshoe, all of them are shapes of the magnet, but the compass contain small light needle magnet. Okay, junior uh, five. Okay. Uh, 
And today we will talk about the electric effect of the magnet, okay? You have to know that electric energy can be generated by using a magnet. Electric energy can be generated by using magnet, okay? And it's the main idea to make the dynamo. Okay, it's the main idea to me, a device called dynamo or electric generator or electric generator. Okay, the structure of electric generator. It's made up of copper coil and magnet, copper coil and magnet. And the main idea of making the electric generator or dynamo, it converts or changes the mechanical or kinetic energy into electric energy, into electric energy. When the kinetic energy move, the copper coil between the two poles of the magnet, electricity will be produced, electricity will be produced. So the electric generator or dynamo used to change the mechanical or the kinetic energy into electric energy, into electric energy, okay? And you have to know that we have small dynamo and the huge dynamo. Small dynamo used to uh, generate small amount of electricity by the huge dynamo are used in the electric power stations, electric power stations to generate big amount or large amount of electricity. Okay, you have to know that we have to increase the produced amount of electricity of the dynamo by choosing the, by, by using a strong magnet or by increasing the number of turns in the moving coils. Okay, and also you have to know that we have three types of electric power stations like wind electric power stations, number two, thermal fuel electric power stations, number three, nuclear electric power stations. Okay, junior uh, five. Okay, next week we will solve again exercise again. Okay.